Yeah, so um, as the club mentioned for us, the design was from Danielle Ponta's auntie April. Um, she's from the tea tree community in NT. So the basic theme around it is is connection. Um, the their sort of first time connecting, um, Danielle and April, um, but also the club being one club and, and connecting all players and, and staff and um, all our three teams. So I guess the um, couple of key points from the design is the blue and white dots in the middle here is our oval, whether that's our training base, West Lakes or, or Adelaide Oval. Um, the U blue shapes here are um, all of our players and coaches, um, that including all the three teams. Um, the sort of the flower, red and red, blue and yellow um, around all of that is our fans. Um, and then I guess two other points I want to mention was the grouping of the um, the, the crows colours here is all the people that strengthen our players and um, coaches. Um, and then these white lines here, um, both sides are our pathways for our young people. So it's probably yeah, a couple of key points that I took from the design that are pretty cool and I'm pretty excited to wear it this week and, um, and next week against Brisbane. So much thought goes into it. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's all it's awesome. It's always it's always good seeing all the different designs. And um, April's done an awesome job um, with this one. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty excited to wear it. Yeah. How special for you and you and the cohort? Yeah, definitely. You know, and even all the other boys. You know, the all the non indigenous boys. They always come in and oh, what's what's the what's the Guernsey looking like this year? And it's always a it's always a good one to release to our fans. And um, um, everyone's excited to wear it. So. Junior, why, is this, why does this round mean so much to you, mate? Oh, I guess it's just a, I guess another chance to showcase our, our culture and um, and to just represent our, our people, our families, all the people that have supported us, um, and then just acknowledge um, what the Indigenous people have done for the game, so the past and present. So I think that's um, one that's really important for us. Do you feel like we're getting better at that as a, as a community, as a society, and even as a, a football industry? Yeah, I think so. Acknowledging um, our past, our, um, past players and, and stuff, um, I think we're getting better at that. Um, talk footy. Yep. Um, what, what I was just going to ask: Does it, does it sort of get the when you put the jumper on for the first Doug Nichols round? Is that a round that if you perform well in that round, does it just get the goosebumps going a little bit? Does, do you get more on edge for sort of a round of this magnitude? Oh, I definitely. You definitely see it, and you're like, yeah, like you definitely want to be playing that, and you want to play well because. Um, yeah, it's just, I guess it's a special round for us, so um, you definitely want to be playing in it and you want to be playing well too. You are playing in it, I assume? How'd you pull up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I put it fine. I'm all good, so a um, little bit sore, but we'll be right as, as per, as you do. Late in the piece that we have for just had your groin looked at a little bit? Yeah, no, I was, I was, I was, right. I was actually cramping up, so <laughs> <laughs> I was cramping up pretty bad, yeah, it was, um, so it was, it was pretty hot yesterday, so I don't know, yeah, I was just cramped up. Nothing bad, I'm all good. I guess how are some of the guys looking? Obviously, due days in concussion protocols now, and Lady was managed. Was that with his car? Yeah, I think, I'm not too sure with Lady, I think it was just managed. I don't, speaking to him after the game, he wasn't too worried about anything. I think he just sort of, um, yeah, come off that. Um, and then, dudes, I only heard about this morning. Uh, I think he had a concussion test yesterday and uh, went through all the protocols. So I think he's in the protocols now. So um, I'm not sure when that exactly, exactly happened, but um, yeah, he's in the concussion protocols now. And, We'll go through that, I guess. Well, you got Murray to swap back in. Then. Yeah, yeah, we've got Mars there, so he obviously comes out of his other, um, later on this week or whatever it is. So, um, yeah, he sort of is a perfect to come back in and play. Parnell was outstanding. I mean, how much <laughs> does he deserve to retain that position as well? Yeah, he was um, very good yesterday. Um, it was, I was actually on the bench when he took his hanger, and um, I, looked, I looked over to Godsey, and he's just What's going on? <laughs> but he, he was a great mark. So, but he played really well. Um, slotted in seamlessly, and um, yeah, that's sort of what we've got in the sample. There's all, we've got heaps of players down there that can come in and play, um, play well, and um, yeah, that's I guess, uh, I guess an indicator of a um, both teams going well. Um, we've got that depth, and um, they can come in and play well. Do you think he'll be watching that replay for weeks to come? Yeah, I reckon he will. He'll probably say he won't, but he will. <laughs> what was the most pleasing aspect for you yesterday, mate? I think just our ability um, to to keep them to a low score. Um, you know, we sort of, sort of always aim to try and keep them under 65 and we was able to keep them 67. 
so we restricted their score and then was able to challenge them off the back of that and, and really go at them and, and, and put up a good score ourselves. So um, I thought everyone played play their role and um, I guess there really wasn't any passengers yesterday at all. We all um, played, our well and, uh, played our role and played well. What were the keys to the fast start, do you think? I mean, I think it was the second highest first score for you outside of the Carlton game and then your biggest score for the year and under Nixie. Why the fast start? What led to such good scoring? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about the fast start. I've been asked about this, but I guess I don't know. It must be something we're doing right in the in the change rooms or the lead up. I don't know. I don't know. You couldn't couldn't put it down to one thing exactly, but um, yeah, I guess we just come out and and sort of dominate. Uh, play well in that in that first quarter and really set ourselves up for the game. Um, and I guess off the back of the scoring, I guess we just wanted to challenge them and go at them and. Um, give our forwards a chance one on one because we know that they were a really good defensive team and they like to get back and support their defenders. Um, so we really wanted to um, get them one on ones and, and um, text filthy um, for getting into them one on one and then them either marking it or bringing it to ground to our smalls. Given they are so notoriously hard to score against, how pleasing was it to you know, record such a high score against them and how good was Tex on Wilkie as well, one of the yeah. best defenders in the comp? Yeah, Wilkie's a very good player. So um, and yeah, Tex on um, Tex was outstanding yesterday. Um, so it was it was important just to get it in. We focus on that during the week, um, just to really you know um, test them out one on one because um, they do like to come across and and intercept mark and then play their game off of that. But we restricted them to you know they like to kick it. They like to kick it around a bit. So chip mark and I thought we played well. We forced them down the line and. And then we was able to rebound off. I think we scored like 14 goals off of, um, I think it was intercept possession. So um, that was that was pretty pleasing. Just to personally too. I mean, you seem to have got the power and agility back in your game. How a how are you feeling and b how long has it taken to I guess get total confidence in your in your body after the last last couple of years? Yeah, I, um, I think I think it's been there, but I just haven't. I guess I haven't been able probably to do it for. Um, Yesterday, I guess like the three quarters of my last quarter was, I was struggling to get around. But um, yeah, it was it was pleasing that sort of back, and um, I sort of had throughout the preseason. But I guess it's just that ability to do it consistently. So um, yeah. And the journey over the last couple of years, how frustrating you've missed so much footy. Yeah, I've spoke on that a little bit. Like it's been it's been tough, but I'm I'm moving forward now, and that's sort of put behind me now. Junior, does that? I mean, you always had confidence in how you guys are playing as a team given the Collingwood and Geelong game, but to beat the Saints in the way you did now, does this make you believe even further that finals are really a possibility for you? Yeah, I think I think there's always been that belief um, within us, um, but I guess it's just being able to bring that consistently um, every week, you know. Um, but, you know, we've got another challenge this week with the Dogs. Um, they're another top eight team, so um, to, you know, we said yesterday that that was a I guess a big game. We've got another big game this week, so we can't take the positives out of it. Take a couple of neg negatives out of what we did um, didn't do well yesterday, and move it on to the Bulldogs and um, and really start to be a team that consistently brings it every week, and, and that'll help us get to where we want to go. Did you watch them on Saturday? Saturday night. On Saturday night, I watched a little bit of them. Yeah. I didn't watch a heap of them because yeah. I was wanted to get sleep. <laughs> How big a challenge is that comparatively? I mean, you've had Collingwood, Geelong, and Saints. How, how did the Bulldogs kind of stack up? Yeah, well, like I said, there's still top eight teams, so they're still a very good side, and they've been a good side for um, for a while now. So, um, yeah, they're going to be another tough challenge, um, and we're looking forward to it. Just you touched on Phil Thorpe as well. Sorry, um, is he in any doubt for the Dogs clash? No, not that I know of. Um, yeah, he, um, he's all sweet. So. What um what sort of hold does Tommy leave at the back? What does he do for you guys defensively? Yeah, we well, you know what Tommy brings. He he brings his leadership down there and his ability to intercept Ma. Um, but like I said before, we've got you know the players there, the depth that can really help that. Um, and Ma's I guess coming off the um, protocols will come straight back in and and help us with that.